Sagittarius singles welcome. Let your singles read. Meet the soulmate. Using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck here. This is an eight card read. We'll shuffle a little bit. Ignore the devil. <laughs> In this reading, I don't really read the bottom of the deck. Uh, we can um, clarify if need be. We choose eight cards. Um, one up, one down. One for emotional aspect of your person. One for the intellectual. Another for the third for the uh, sexual and love nature. And then lastly, one uh, for what I call the four pillars of a relationship. Uh, four legs of a table or chair. Make it sound. Uh, core values and lifestyle. Kind of try to break it down that way. And here we're just looking at your person, Sag. So it's not a triggery read. Uh, it's, it's always positive read. Because if you see the three of swords, it's going to describe some aspect of the person that's right for you. So it's not going to be something to worry about. So it does have a little, give a little trust to spirit that this uh, being single like this is an opportunity. We're opening the airport, opening the runway. So your person come down and land and we can pick them up and meet them. Now, let's see. This is in their emotional nature, Sag. I'm going to start out with that up there. And this is in their bottom of their emotional nature. And I kind of do read a conscious and unconscious energy. See if I can get it there in some way that's you can see it best. Uh, so Ace of Wands we have also. That's interesting coming under the Seven of Cups. Here I'll see the moon energy. I uh, look for childhood um, stories about childhood, what kind of childhood they might have had. Um you know, with this Ace of Wands, I get the feeling they they had like a, a fire sign, probably a mother. You know how it goes. Could be a father, but like a single parent. Um, and I think I see a Scorpio moon here is what I see with the Seven of Cups for our person. Um, my second wife, 25 years, Scorpio moon, classic. So I um, know a little bit what that's like. Um... But I, I get the feeling that their parent was a fire sign, you know. Um, someone had to, this child, when your soulmate here had them when they were kind of young, the parent. Um, and remember, this is your person. I'm not saying they're perfect, but they're the one that's right for you. You know, I think there's more than one. There's What does spirit thinks the next person for you that would align with your soul's perfect best? Maybe it's a matter of faith, but I think if they align with your soul's purpose best, you're going to align with their um, soul's purpose some best way. So, um, they may have had uh, I, uh, two or three siblings. I think there's at least three of them, this person, and... Um, um, there's some kind of sibling rivalry. There's, I don't know if they'll tell you this story. It might not be something you tell soon. You know, we tell each other stories. And usually they'll maybe tell you about their childhood. But um, there might to this day be sibling rivalry. And like, I don't know, some issues around trust maybe that your person might have around their siblings. And it would go pretty deep with a Scorpio moon. They're going to go down into the dark, into the shadows. And, and they're going to say, for instance, you know, I don't trust my brother. I don't trust my sister. And you're going to have a very, very deep reason for that distrust. It's not going to be in any way shallow or frivolous here. Now, looking at their intellectual position, you get the tower card. Kind of see conscious and unconscious, too. And it's going to be over the Knight of Swords. And then so you have Seven of Cups coming with the Tower. Then the Ace of Wands with the Knight of Swords. So I think for one thing, another thing about their childhood and their story um, is, you know, probably it, it was rocky. I mean, in this energy, there could be anything from, you know, periods of homelessness to, you know, being like good... Um, kicked out of a home 
not not the childness really the the parent here the parent um and i get the feeling like their parents sort of lived by the cusp or lived by the seat of their pants i think is the phrase that i want wants to come to mind here this knight of uh, swords and i always call this and this is the uh ethereal visions illuminated tarot deck the coming at you knight it's coming at you coming straight at you and that is the energy of coming uh, straight at you. So this person is going to be a straight uh, shooter, very much so. Um, I think we have an Aquarius personality. For one thing, I read the towers like a Uranus uh, energy. Um, and this uh, this just kind of what I get. So you have fixed air, Uranus sun. I think this sword, Knight of Swords, might also point to like a Uranus Mercury, maybe conjunct the sun. So if we're looking in their natal chart already, we have Scorpio Moon, Uranus Sun, and conjunct Mercury. I know it's not that unusual for Mercury to be conjunct the sun. Just think there is, there's is. Not unusual Mercury being the same sign. Just think uh, there's is. Uh, and there's, so there'll be about them a, a directness. So... If you meet them and you're getting to know them, you're on a date, you're going to see they're very direct. They're going to look at you very directly, speak to you very directly, look you right in the eyes. That may seem, sound strange, but people don't. I mean, there'll be a little bit of an edge to them, a little bit of a hardness to them, a little bit of a brightness to them. And in their eyes, they'll have that ability to, where a certain way they can look at you to let you know they really understand something, like really understand it. And uh, when they speak, they'll they'll uh, demonstrate that understanding. Again, you know, if they have feelings about anyone, you know, Scorpio Moon, kind of in general, it's going to be strong. It's going to last, and they, you know, they don't let go. Of it. They don't forget. You know, they might forgive, but they don't. They probably, probably don't forgive. Actually, yeah, depends on the rest of it. Aquarius is pretty forgiving. You know, it can hold on to things. So this is in a sexual and love nature, and we have the Ace of Cups, which is kind of perfect here. And with the Aquarius person, has to point to a Pisces Venus, because here I see the, the Venus and Mars. And now for the Mars, uh, uh, two of Cups, and um, with the with an Aquarius personality, and a two of Cups. Um, I think they're going to have a Pisces, Venus, and Mars, this person. So a lot of water. So they're the kind of, remember it's your soulmate, and I'm not saying they do this in any kind of uh, obnoxious way or anything, but like if you sit and talk to them and you say, well, now you've met my friend so-and-so, my this, this couple, uh, Jill and Bill, and you know, what do you think of Jill and Bill? Well, be careful. Because they're going to go right to the core. Like, they're going to talk about their souls and uh, Jill and Bill. And maybe they just met them for 10 minutes. But, I mean, literally, they're looking at, at like, uh, um, Sherlock Holmes. You know, they're watching every little cue, picking up on things. This intuition with this person uh, would be uh, through the roof here, guys. And, and so, in terms of the way they love... Um, uh, kind of a passive, you know, uh, it, not in the sense of shades of gray, but, you know, they're kind of maybe internal in terms of love. Um, they love very unconditionally, um, for one. Um, I think this person might be kind of protective, more so than you'd think with Pisces energy. So they're expressing the Aquarius energy, strong boundaries can be. Uh, Scorpio can be strong boundaries, fixed water. They cert certainly Scorpio doesn't walk in anything unwittingly in terms of boundary issues. They they're going to see it. That's what I'm saying with this person. They see uh, things. They see the dark side. They see the problems. They see potential problems. The tower. It's like a part of their mind. You know they understand how life works. That's like it is. It's like a mechanic. Like you take your car to the mechanic. He's a good mechanic. He listens and goes. Well, that sounds like a solenoid you know because he knows he worked on it over and over he or she you know um and so the same thing here with your person you know she's um someone they knows how the human engine is and so when this person sees certain things she goes here's why this is happening very most likely you know it's the solenoid <laughs>
Now, this is in the core values and lifestyle for your person. Three of Pentacles. You know, any uh, ethereal visions of Luminate Tarot here, it really emphasizes cooperation rather than the good worker card that it is. And I always see this as such a positive card in the good worker card. The craftsperson, you know, this is rolling up the sleeves, doing the good work. Somebody knows what they're doing. Um, I get here self-made man, self-made woman, um, autodidactic, learner for life. Um, let's see, entrepreneur, yes, in the Knight of Pentacles. In the Nine of Pentacles, it's looking back at the Two of Cups. Family's like really important for this person. I'm not sure they'd come out and say that, but it, I think it is. Um, and whatever they do for a living, it is like collaborative, but it's theirs. They guide it, and it'd be something they've done for a long time. And probably uh, you will be absorbed into their lives of work, you know. And But this is something that's important to them. It's not, ex I think it's something makes money. I think they're fine like that, but it's not something they exactly do for money. It's like they feel like they're built to do what they're doing. Um, and they could be doing something where they help people. Maybe that Mars and Pisces being expressed there. I mean, they should be extremely uh, yielding and giving um, in terms of love. Um, uh, sometimes, like with, with this, when you have Pisces and Venus here, uh, in uh, this, where well, you have Mars and Venus in Pisces, um, you know, they could be kind of daydreamy, so particularly around love and romance and really sex. So uh, if they're real quiet, you know, and they're not screamers and, you know, they're probably internal and they could be just absolutely just keep in mind, really turned on, really loving it. Feel free to communicate with them. Aquarius, uh, Mercury will always be able to communicate and they will be able to communicate. Uh, uh, they're emotionally extraordinarily intelligent. They might do something like a, a sh run a shelter for battered women or operate uh, some kind of something in the community that helps the community. It could just be a psychologist, counselor, social worker uh, kind of energy I get off them for what they might do for a living, guys. So let me know, Sag. Uh, this is uh, meant to be a predictive read. So this might not be someone's in your uh, life right this moment, but coming in now soon into November time frame here guys so let me know when they show up do give me a like thumbs up share let me know how you think this type of person might suit you how they sound to you um, and uh, do subscribe thank you much guys